Aladdin, written by Miles Kelly, illustrated by Mette Engel. Once upon a time, a boy called Aladdin lived with his mother in a land called China. One day, a strange man arrived at Aladdin's house. I am your long lost uncle, he said. He asked Aladdin to help him find some treasure. However, the man was really an evil wizard. He took Aladdin to a dark cave and told him to find a gold lamp that lay inside. The wizard could only have the lamp if someone else gave it to him. He took a ring off his finger and gave it to Aladdin. This magic ring will help you find the lamp, he told him. So Aladdin bravely went into the cave and found the gold lamp. But afraid of being trapped inside, he refused to give it to the wizard until he was out of the cave. You foolish boy, shouted the wizard in a rage. He muttered some magic words and at once a big rock slid across the cave entrance. Aladdin was trapped. For two days, Aladdin was stuck in the dark cave, very scared. He wondered why the lamp was so special and at last rubbed off some dirt to get a better look at it. In a cloud of smoke, a genie burst from the lamp. I am the genie of the lamp. What is it that you wish for? He boomed. Get me out of this cave, please, cried Aladdin. In a flash, Aladdin was home. He told his mother all about the wizard and the lamp. After that, they asked the genie for a great many things. They never wanted for anything. Some years later, Aladdin saw a princess traveling through the town with her family. She was charming and beautiful. Aladdin fell in love with her at once. He said to the genie, please build me a palace of the finest stone to impress the princess. I wish to marry her. The genie built Aladdin a dazzling palace. When the princess was asked to visit, she was amazed. Aladdin and the princess were married, watched by all their friends and family. When the wizard heard about the wedding, he realised that Aladdin had escaped from the cave. He decided to steal the lamp for himself. Disguised as a peddler, he went to the palace when Aladdin was away. He met with the princess. I'll give you this new lamp for your old lamp, he offered. The princess didn't know that the old lamp was magic so she happily handed it to the wizard. The wizard quickly rubbed the lamp and then told the genie to move the palace to Africa. With a sudden flash, the princess, the wizard and the palace vanished. When Aladdin tried to return home, he was shocked to find the palace had gone. But he remembered that he still had the wizard's magic ring. Take me to the princess, he told it, and he was. Together they made a potion, which the princess gave to the wizard. The potion made him fall into a deep sleep. Aladdin rushed to take the magic lamp from the wizard. He rubbed it and the genie appeared once more. Take me, the princess and the palace back to China, Aladdin cried, and they were. Aladdin and the princess lived happily ever after and the genie made sure the wizard could never find them again. He's probably still wandering around the desert. The end. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed that book. Um, that version of Aladdin is a little bit different to the one we're used to hearing or the one that we've seen on telly. But it's good to hear different versions of stories sometimes.
because it kind of makes us think then about what the story is really about. Um, I have included some colouring books and activities on Aladdin and all the different characters in the description. So I hope you guys have loads of fun with that. Enjoy and see you next time.